The Mistake You're Making When Pressing Smash Burgers by Karen Hart. Thursday, March 21st, 2024 at 5.30 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time. It's a two-minute read. Let's dive in. Smash Burgers, those super flat burgers made with minced beef and salted to perfection are all the rage. If you're eating a burger, this is the fried meat patty you want layered between your bun, but when you're making the ultimate Smash Burger, one of the biggest mistakes home cooks make involves the smashing technique. When smashing the meat, most people don't use enough force to flatten the meat. This culinary gaffe causes two problems. The first is you have a smash burger that's too thick, meaning you're really just making a normal hamburger, but that is the least of your problems. The second and more offensive issue is you have a dry burger with a less than stellar crust. So how can you overcome this flattening catastrophe? To get this crispy caramelized edge you know and love when you eat a smash burger, it is mission critical to smash the round of beef as flat as you can. To do so, at the very least, you will need a spatula. But if you have a burger press, that is the optimal tool for this task. When you smash your burger, you want to start with loosely packed meat and place it in a hot cast iron skillet. Once you apply pressure, and lots of it, you won't want these burger babies to be more than one centimeter deep, so press firmly any thicker, and it's really not a smash burger. Read more tips you need when cooking with ground beef! The crust sets it apart. What does this pomp of pressure do to your burger? When you smash your meat, you are essentially pushing out all the juices with the payoff being the beautiful, savory, brown crust that forms as it cooks. This is where that wonderful Milliard reaction comes into play, giving you all the tastes and smells you hope for when eating this beloved backyard party food. Once you've smashed your meat, let it cook so it can get nice and crispy. This will take as little as a minute to two minutes, so don't wander away. And when you flip it, be sure the crispy crust stays on the burger. It's the best part. Don't worry if your smash burger is not perfectly formed, because it shouldn't be. Your goal is to achieve a caramelized crust that is juicy and savory to the bite. Once you have that, you can build your smash burger with all the trimmings, little bacon, lettuce, tomato, cheese, and whatever sauces and condiments you want. Read the original article on Tasting Table. View comments. Two. Term slash privacy policy. Your privacy controls. WA Consumer Health Privacy Policy. About our ads. Welcome to the Numeric Workshop. This segment of the WBPL 76 is brought to you by the Night Owl Association, along with the Bear Diggs Company and viewers like you. Why are you here? Imagine, if you will, a world where reality and imagination collide, where the lines between the ordinary and the absurd blur beyond recognition. Welcome, my friends, to the Twilight Zone. In this quaint little corner of the universe, we find Mr. Harold Loomis, an unassuming hobbyist with a penchant for painting miniatures. But tonight, Mr. Loomis is about to embark on a journey unlike any other as he delves into the world of the bizarre and unexpected. As Mr. Loomis breathes life into his miniature creation, he finds himself drawn into a whirlwind of oddities and eccentricities. Conversations take on a surreal tone as the lines between reality and imagination become increasingly blurred. So what's your story, little guy? I am the Night of the Twilight Zone, here to protect the secrets of the cosmos. No, it's 
But in the Twilight Zone, nothing is quite as it seems. As Mr. Loomis navigates the labyrinth of his own imagination, he discovers that the true masterpiece lies not in the strokes of his brush, but in the unpredictable canvas of life itself. Well, that's certainly, uh, unique. Join us if you dare as we journey with Mr. Harold Loomis into the heart of the unknown. For in the Twilight Zone, even the most ordinary hobby can lead to extraordinary discoveries. Prepare yourself for a tale that will paint the town red. Welcome to the Twilight Zone. Hello again, chat. Have some corn. You just open it up and you rub it all over your tongue. Ooh, woo. Why are you here? Sphincter Ottoman? I just hit myself in the balls with an iPhone. Somebody quote that. What could possibly go wrong? Free Corn Thursday. Like, so, wow, what? your organs are all fuck shaped. What if we just stab it a little bit? Fuck. That unholy abomination of Yuletide terror. <laughs> Yo, my name is Exhibit, and today we're gonna go ahead and pimp my mech. Stop fucking the magnets. I'm not fucking the magnets. You're fucking the magnets. What the fuck is free corn Thursday? <laughs> Now, it's a well-known fact that Thursday exists on the calendar. I know it and you know it. But the fact is that the universe itself doesn't respect the prosperity of Free Corn Thursday. It keeps trying to insist we have to go to work. And I say, no, no, it's time we remade the calendar the way we want it. I'm going to put Thursday on a Saturday so we can have Free Corn two days of the week and then get ready for Taco Tuesday, where it all goes down, downtown and up in the air. From Zeppelin to Submarine, we're bringing food to you. Hot artillery style. It's going to be corn from here to the horizon, whether you like it or not. So watch yourselves, ladies and gentlemen, and get that microwave ready because the popcorn is coming for you one way or another. Also, hello. Welcome to the Twilight Zone, everybody. Hell yeah. Do, 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 yeah do, I got do, a button. Do. There we go. <laughs> so, uh, welcome to the Numeric Workshop. I see people asking questions over what the hell this is. Uh, frankly, when we figure it out, we'll let you know. We've only That's been a nice doing... ferret. Yeah, we've only been doing this for two years, so. Why yeah. that mech squishing the cheese into cheese wine? Uh... That's how you get cheese wine. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay, yeah. I have a very important thing, though. Yeah, we've got Taco Tuesday, but today is National Burrito Day. Mm, I'm well, on board. That's a wrap. <laughs> so, uh, uh, very quickly. What you see there? I did it. Very quickly. Uh, hi, what I'm Derelex. Uh, ostensibly, I'm the host, but frankly, nobody's driving this train. You're on a train? 
Yeah. Mr. Train is driving this train. Was there a training sure. session? Because I missed it. Yes. No. Hmm. Oh, that sounds like a briefing. We don't do those. You here. see, that's that's why Diggs is station manager. It's an engineering job. Oh, so he gets the hat. Yeah. We yeah, did right. him one. So he have a hat. And hat. I got. How you. much hat? No, hold hold up, hold up. I'm derailing us before we finish the intro. I'm you see, we're still on the train thing. It's perfect. I He's want to know what the tallest hat Amazon sells is for no okay. reason. So um. So keep going. I'll let you. Parallax, know. Uh, who else is here? Hmm, I don't know that. I didn't. I'm not ask here. you, Echo. <laughs> Cookie is uh, here. Cookie is here. Hi. Cookie is also brain dead, so you get a uh, cookie light tonight or cookie wacky. I don't know what you want to call it. So I'm not the responsible adult. We'll let Wookie do that tonight. That's it. Certainly not going to be me. I've got to be your responsible adult. Somebody. Uh -oh. We're doomed. Yeah. yeah you're going to have to start we calling out names here. Uh, in charge guy. <laughs> okay, so uh, we heard Cookie, we heard Wookie. I think I heard a duck say quack, quack, and I yeah. heard I heard a, a, a squick squack. No, you didn't. Qu oh, I'm quack. stealthy. He's uh, a stealthy squick squack. Yeah, he's the hear... loudest stealthy person in the world. Well, they do say there's two ways to two ways to be sneaky. One is that they never notice you. And the other is that they always notice you and that they, you just become so commonplace in their life that they start ignoring you. Yeah. Ah, I take the third option by becoming the human impression, impersonation, and all-around general avatar of stealth is optional for this mission. I'm here for stealth that. Stealth is an option. <laughs> so, uh, so stealth let's let's get into shit option. people sent us this week. Biz Monkey oh, yeah, sent us... I want to us... talk about the cool cheese bot. Yeah, cheese bot. Uh... Biz Monkey sent us uh, some clan mechs on Planet Cheddar. That is legit an excellent fade. Like, their gradient work is top-notch. The pinstriping is beautiful. And I know we're taking the piss with the cheese. But it also looks really good. Yeah, it looks like good cheese. N no, no, fuck you. Hey, it the doesn't look like good excellent. cheese. The texture is good. <laughs> It's just that I'm incapable of delivering a compliment without some kind of joke involved, which is a serious personal flaw, and I'm working on it. But this thing is beautiful from start to finish. Welcome to Craftulon 7. Hold on. You're working on your flaws? I'm not good at it. I'm just I'm exercising. Going to say this because to me, yeah, I can see kind of cheddar, but I can honestly see that it looks kind of like some of these sulfur flats that. I've been to recently. Oh, the fart planet. Yes. Um, yeah. Also, he said it's planet... the wolves raiding the Jade Falcons. He did say he did say planet creamed corn. Planet creamed said. corn. Uh, we've got ah creamed cornea. We've got on a Thursday. Um, that makes sense. So uh, we've got a supernova here on planet. Um, I guess hey, yo, snowy grass. Or cocaine. Hey, I. Well, you know it can hasn't can... been in a fight yet because that snow's still nearby. Sorry, go ahead, Ducks. Can I confess to something? You can try. I doubt it. I really like the Supernova, even though I know it's basically Clan's version of King Crab, that it also explodes if you try to use all of the lasers. That um... was only in one game, but also yes. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, T.O., subscribe with Prime. They're subscribed for 22 months. Take my all my money. <laughs> starting starting tomorrow, it won't be around for like two months because of surgery Ooh. to get a year of get rid of cancer. I love you all, Ox forever. Ox strong. First of all, Tio, I'm going to steal the microphone because I have a very important message. Fuck cancer. Fuck cancer. You get yep. them to stab yeah. the shit out of it. You know what? And then you get back here and you tell us they stabbed it a lot. You know what? Cuck cancer. I yep. do not want to penis most medical conditions. Thank you. Yep. I feel like that does lead to some medical conditions. I, I feel like much. you were the one that was just saying you the fuck cancer. Yeah, I yep. meant in the stabby kind, not the I wish to have carnal relations with this internal manufacturing malfunction. Yeah, that's that's what I was saying. Cuck cancer, because then you can sleep with cancer's wife. There you go. I, that's I melanoma. To... No. Melanie Noma? No. I, oh my God. I'm confused and upset. Go become medicinally well. I command it as I'm the voice from the tea. internet. I'm just drinking my tea. Yes, Wait. you should do that. 
We also got a cute. Hellbringer that appears to have come out of Mad Duck's backyard, if I'm seeing what I think I see there. Because that, that kind of looks like the head of an alligator to me. First of all, that is a Logie. Yeah, I'm sorry. But I'm also pretty sure that's an alligator. Hey, hey howdy, Gasly. Welcome to the party. We're very dumb here. We but we try to get wholesome. We are dramatically dumb. Oh, it's supposed to be a treat. Well, sir, you made a giant alligator. Okay, so Twitch compression was doing it no favors, and I was trying to figure out why you guys were all so happy about the robot that took a dump on Duck's lawn. <laughs> <laughs> no, it does genuinely look pretty good. It does. Uh, it now does. that you know, I've got all the pixels. The, look, look at uh, look at Biz using his static grass applicator too. I was like, oh, I have. Oh, you can't use. What? I've... I've seen the static grass applicator. I have never seen static grass applied. It seems like something people either get or assemble, and then they put it on a shelf so they can show you their static grass applicator. You see, I have static grass, but I don't have an applicator. Like, can I use it for a beard? Oh, Biz says he didn't use the applicator on that. Oh, God. But, but I kind of get the impression he does have one. I still think it looks like a Loki. Yeah, Biz, just sprinkling it on looks good. That's what I actually did when I was back in high school a bazillion years ago for a model uh railroad set uh laughing I man put some spray uh adhesive down and then sprinkled the grass yep. over it yep uh laughing man you're not wrong especially considering that the hellbringer also has a dramatic lack of armor kind of similar to the warhammer the clans do not believe in armor if you are well, not to die then you will be protected by not dying. Now give me more guns! I think planners just die louder. <laughs> Wait, you think they have, like, ah, oh, these lasers are too quiet. Yes, I know they're only half a ton for the largest model, but fetch me a sound amplifier and the sound of screaming when I fire. And the clan shall be made aware of the honor I am bestowing on those melted before it. Squick, that's heavy lasers. Right. Well, no, I don't think the clans would be stupid enough for heavy lasers. Like, they invented them. They I, no, they them. can't be that dumb because you have to start with, I have taped two of our largest lasers together. And then you have to get somebody else to go, okay, but what if we made that but made it not insane? That's the periphery. No, the, the periphery also is, a I have taped two of the doubles together. <laughs> I am the laser king. And I have mounted them to my Buick Skylark. <laughs> Ooh, it's got a Buick Skylark. That is a gargoyle. Uh, and then Grimos has sent us some, uh, s they, they appear to be uh, Kriegers. I've... What? Hmm. No, I'm, the uh, the hue is throwing me off there. But yeah. Yeah, that's... I think the white balance is a little wonky here. No, no, that's fair. That's copper. Fair. He says they're Copper Kriegers. Uh, oh, copper. Okay. And, okay, I and I'm going to assume that this is the, uh, the Speed Paint 2.0 Copper. Which is interesting, because I only have one color of the speed paint metallics. Oh god, a copper helmet. That sounds... Stone Age? Hot. Bronze Age? 100% in keeping with the uh, with... Imperial Guard. Yeah, at least with the Kriegers. What is... Does it yeah, stop a that... bullet? No. Does it make your it... life worse? Yes. You Does this go on the note card? I don't, I don't understand. Not yet. I don't, okay. I don't immediately know what this one is. Um... It's rad as hell and is going to look great under a black light when the rave marines arrive. You see, I and... think these guys are hunting Swamp Thing. Oh, I thought it was just like your standard Shadowrun party where nobody decides to be the mage. That's also possible. This is like Kills yeah, we brought five door kickers to a stealth mission. We're going to stealth this entire building. Ducks, uh, you already have the the Space Germany Don't Love the Emperor's <laughs> Garden up. Yes. So you know about Creek. I I only know that Krieg is uh, World War Two Germany that didn't wasn't was mad World because War One Germany World War World War, one, World War Germany. One Germany that wasn't yeah, right. yeah yes so you know yeah okay uh, so this it, is on the note card yes okay Excellent. so uh, Grimo says that this is uh, Killzone Militia and they are in fact hunting Swamp Thing uh, he also then sent us a uh, he said it's a hoplite so we're gonna go I'm gonna say Spartan. I mean, it's I not red enough. Was the guy but... with the jetpack? Yeah, that too. Uh, Box of Ford said it, they thought they had someone said uh, at Malevolent Creek, and he was going to salute. <laughs> That's okay. You can still do that. We'll get there. I promise. Oh, 
Okay, uh, then we've got some stuff here. Oh, this is Grimace also. So we've got ourselves a, uh, a vulture, an exterminator, and... A baboon. Hey, look, is it? Are we not all in a way? It's a baboon, or um, the other name for it is a... What, a devil? Howler is Howler. what he said. Okay. Howler, yeah. Howler, yeah. A uh, long tom designated target number five. Yep. That one. No, they're only 20 tons. They're not worth even a single long tom shell. Yeah, yeah but, but if, if they're clustered long together. Tom shell, you get, like, free drinks. <laughs> That's it, yeah. Yeah, if, if you hit the 20 ton mech with the long tom you you uh you manage to actually get the uh the free truck from toyota it's uh, <laughs> it's like when the reds ma if the reds ever managed to hit the tacoma that was sitting up on the the top of the stands god that would I be had amazing words to say but they fell out of my brain ah uh, yeah i, I know that, that happens too. right here the trick is if you feed them through the mouth fast enough then you can get them into the microphone <laughs> uh to that no go back go back go back go back because I just we can look at this in a minute. It's really cool. But oh, I'm just, sorry, my wife says imagine... you have to hit the sign, not the truck. Sorry. Aim for the windows. Fuck it. <laughs> uh but no, I want a mercenary company where that's their entire thing. And it's like, yeah, you can win a fight, sure, whatever. You get paid base rate. You take out this dumb thing in the middle of the thing. You get promoted five times and access to the company car. <laughs> you get the executive bag. <laughs> Tex talked about that in one of his Battletech runs. I don't doubt it. But also, it, wow. Tex when says, also, yeah. when, Tex when, says when a he, lot of things uh, in his recorded videos. When he, when he bought three um, long toms in a single purchasing session. God, he had like six million hanging around? Yeah. Uh, with his attrition rate? Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. How? But, well, I oh, mean. fraud. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, we, we definitely deployed a heavy lance. We got <laughs> we've three got, heavy urban mechs. We've got three long toms and uh and a chaparral. Yeah, ah. it was three long toms, a chaparral. Um and I yes, what the, the, uh, the city defense were. loadout. <laughs> I think it's the, the 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 siege loadout we'll go with. It, parking lot installation, comma okay, universal. So what is this? Tell me what is okay. This? So this is Voxel Forge's current project. Um, he sent me this uh, work in progress picture earlier tonight. He is working on a Kodiak. So with that said, he initially sent me <laughs> the Kodiak. <laughs> yes, it's the Diggs Chad bot. Is just immediately Diggs. Yeah, it's the Diggs bot. But uh, he Diggs sent bot. this to me before he started putting color on it, and I was like, "Oh, look, it's Kilowog from the Green Lantern Corps." And he's like. Yeah, it is, isn't it? So we're we're going we're calling it uh, the Poozer, which some of you are going to get that joke and some of you aren't. And that's fine. Listen, all I know is sometimes you have a Kodiak moment. Yep. Wow! 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 I love it. Make wow. more things. Do it now. I'm I'm drinking my liquids now. Hey, I'm almost out of tea. Now, Morgana yeah, has food. actually <laughs> sent us some stuff. It's been a little bit since we heard from Morgana. Uh, this is fucking rad. I want to put That's... that out there. If you can hear this, it means that my mouth is full of consumable human beverage, and I'm unable to respond at this time. Please leave a message after the beep. 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 <laughs> For the record, Squick actually did record that. Uh, that's not just him saying it. That's the second time I've heard. Oh, we got we got a water break and a posture check. I simply drank liquid, and I am not at all filled with regret. <laughs> My posture failed. Sorry. Just um, as cookie. But uh, I am drinking water. I, I, I have had my definitely tea, and now I'm drinking water. Also, everything there is cool as hell. Hot damn, how did you get all those colors separate? How did you get the text on like the streamer things to look good? The gradients on the wings, like they're they're both distinct and consistent. Now and they look good. Morgana this doesn't appear good. to be in quick. chat. But if they were, I would ask the question of whether or not the letters on there are actually uh engraved into the plastic there. Or plastic, it could be resin. I don't know. 
uh, because that that would make sense. If they freehanded that, then Jesus Christ. Right. Yeah. Also, the stonework, I realize it's probably mostly just speed paints, but looking at how they worked around the feet and the skull and mm -hmm. still got the slime looking good there. Now, if I had to if I had to guess, I would venture that the actual angel here was painted separately and then applied to the base. Oh, yeah. Also, I'm going to break in real quick, uh, since Gasly's a, a first-timer over here. Welcome again, by the way. Uh, yeah, the general format of this portion of the show is uh, Para throws on some intros, then we try and keep him from painting as long as possible. Yeah. As part of that, uh, we go through uh, a bunch of the stuff that's been sent in by people who've been working on their own projects, and we go through and we say, hey, he's fucking awesome. Keep it, it up. Okay, we're actually getting updates from Morgana. Uh, it's all one piece. The letters are from a wash. So, this is very well okay. done. This is very so, well done. Gassi, the short version is that this is where we show off what the viewers have done, what we have done, and then we get to painting maybe in more insanity. If you uh, have some stuff that you've painted, submit it at art at WBPL76.com. Doesn't have to be painted. These it, guys just paint everything. But can be digital art, can be uh, we've had... Uh, Oh, uh, uh, Lego, we've Lego had submissions. Leather, we've had Lego. Ooh, Lego we've really had, uh, yeah, art of some variety. We've what's had what's the uh, command in chat to get that? Uh... Got it. Submit. No, that's that was the ox one. <laughs> well, no, before that there was send your viewer submissions to art. At oh, yeah, submit. Okay. okay, it was submit. I, I said I said submit. Cookie you and did. I both did it at the same time. Okay, Caroline, so if, listen, time. if you send me something creative, I will put it on stream. If it's a sonnet, uh, I, I guess I'll read it. I'll uh, make Squick read it. <laughs> or make Hal it read too. it. We'll bring Hal in for oh, that. Oh, that's true. Yeah, we have. So, that'll be that's Hal shtick. We yeah, literally have Hal finally, at home. Just to or lie and concerns. Just, you know, I am a Shakespearean actor. Yeah, but let's make, some... make Wookie work. Okay, there's some really amazing stuff here. Make the Wookie do it. Do Sam Master. Intimidated. Sam Master send has sent us uh, an Orion. Now, I want to put this out there because uh, Sam sent me an entire like story about this. Oh, so oh, this oh, Orion oh, is in fact Mecco parts. An Orion that <laughs> is painted to resemble. Orion from Star Trek. Nice. Oh, it's beautiful. So it is in fact like Orion it. here, and that's an everyone problem. So just like the show. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay, now just as an FYI, I posted something I've been working on in the holler. Um how's the cart? Uh we mentioned that we would make you read the sonnet for Wookie. You are Wookie to read the sonnet if somebody composed the sonnet. That's what it was. Don't worry about it, Hal. We're just going to make you do work. It's fine. All yes, on. Hal. We require you to work it immediately. We require you to move it. I don't think that's what that means. <laughs> well, I just don't uh, think. If we're wrong because... enough, it means whatever we think it does. Mm. Yeah. Uh, that's what I learned on the advertisement show. Oh, uh, super zoomed. Um, that's how it imports. No, no how fish. Uh -huh. if now, take a look at those guys. They're going to be fish. Now, fish. if you see up to the left a little, that is a full-grown guppy male. Something when I looks... got these guys, they were slightly bigger than that, but not by much. Something looks fishy here. These are Zaire Tetras that I am trying to crossbreed a little bit and get a better uh, tolerance for water pH. Oh, I played Tetras once. I wasn't good at it. Apparently Parallax is. <laughs> yes, those are Zaire Congo Tetras, short tail uh, Zaire Congo Tetras. Excellent. You know, I've, I've always I've wanted to get back into having an aquarium in my house, but I have two cats, and I just I don't like their odds. Whereas we've got cats, and the cats drink the water. Yeah, uh, my my at least one of my cats is. I mean, Carl will tell you. Uh, one of my cats is dramatically more adventurous than that. 
Well, this is why I have reinforced lids. Always a good precaution. Okay, so, Ducks, now it's your turn. Ducks, what's this? Um, I'm, uh, there's a delay. We're waiting on Twitch. There it is. This is uh, Periphery Urban Mech Land Air Mechs. These are Blams, Balloon Land Air Mechs. That's right. <laughs> no. uh, the one front and center. I need to repaint. It's outside. I forgot to bring it in. I need to work on the steel cables. Uh, that was made by some weirdo named Parallax. I and, heard of uh, him. Doesn't he show up you? in the Black Pants Legion from time to time? Sometimes. Uh, every so often he paints, too. Weird. And then the the one, the up Urbis, uh, which you'll notice one is backwards, is uh, the, okay, Mo, who's in chat, helped me to bastardize those. And I painted them last week on the little camera, which I have here. Uh, okay. That only the other question. hosts can see. What? Quack? Does this mean... The technically, these are medium mechs because they've been up armored. Boo! Boo! <laughs> um, now, the, we have possibly, through no fault of my own, actually mostly Mo's. Oh, uh, we're moving on. Uh, no, 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 I have I... rights to the urban mech lamp, by the way, given to me by Ray Rasta. But the anyway. chat is not ready for the kebab machine. They must see more of the Balloonian assault mechs. Uh, Para? Hi. Kai saying to send the the Orion theme to Diggs because, yes, Diggs was Orion. Oh, okay. Then I guess I'll send it. I thought somebody else. Okay, okay I'll send nope. it to Diggs. For some reason in my head, it was dead. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, heckin' kebab, huh, ducks? Well, okay, so look. First, we had Operation Pork Toast. Um, and then about a month later, I had a day in the store and then we cooked shrimp and we had uh, Operation Shrimp Toast and yesterday was my hatching day. So I wanted steak. So I made kebabs in the pork toaster at work. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I have to think for this. Happy Dick's Day. Happy Dick's Day, everybody. <laughs> that's that's okay, a really good, actually. Just <laughs> watch here in a few minutes, in a minute or two. And, um... How we got dare the... you make this look tasty? I'm hungry now. Oh, um, I don't have worse. the video, ducks. I'm sorry. It's okay. It came out medium rare. It cut with a with a single swipe with a plastic knife. Uh, it came out super tender. It turns out that a toaster makes a good kebab. I want toast kebab. And if I'm completely honest, I am still confused as to why this is working. The pork chop was good, the shrimp was excellent, and the kebabs were outstanding. Okay, look now at, I squick, have to squick, look at that. Go ahead. Because there's something that needs to be done at this point. A uh, disclaimer not to do this at home? No, 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 no. I mean, that to too. <laughs> but this is important. There are two ducks in the room. One in voice chat and one watching. They have something important and, you know, fairly similar going on. The duck in chat, hatching day was yesterday. Or the duck in voice is yesterday. Is yesterday. The duck in chat, hatching day is tomorrow, where he becomes Fully legal. This is a Red. work in progress from Cookie and I. Ah, okay. That see, that's you have context. You have kept young person alive long enough to be old, old enough. So, I demand so I that I'll we serenade these two. Happy birthday. I mean, that does count. It does. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> quack, 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 quack. To you. Happy birthday. You live in Happy a birdie. nest. And now you're hatching to a person. I do work at this. <laughs> happy birthday. And hatch some this more. Thank you. And, and Ducky and Chet, happy birthday to you. Uh, happy hatching day to you as well. Yeah. God, I, I should have recorded that to one of these, but I only have the four slots. Sorry to tease where I'll things even more, but I felt like that needed to be done. Oh, wait, I mean, no. I, I appreciate more. it. I can do this. One moment, one moment. Quick. 
Alice three times now. Yes, uh, but fuck, wait, uh, um, um, goddammit. Uh, uh, <clears throat> Squick, you tried, and it means a lot. Look, it's fine, it's fine, everything is working. There, okay, I found the button again. <laughs> I hit the wrong button, like several of them. Squick, what's this? It appears to be some sort of robot. Does it look engaged in illegal parking? Does it look patriotic? Uh, it looks like if you rotate it wrong while hitting missile, you can self-destruct instantly. That's also true. <laughs> it can be both. Two things can be true. Yeah. So, Mordery AC2 and LRM15? Yeah, it's got the go-away cannon and the Angie tube. <laughs> Who gave Indeed. Squick a soundboard? Squick gave Squick a soundboard. <laughs> yeah, it turns out money can be exchanged for goods and services. So, uh, with this thing, this is uh, this is the Patriot exosuit from uh, the Helldivers Two. Uh, this is available from Skullforge Studios. Actually, I think it was the, in their pack last month. Um, all, all Helldivers in chat um, immediately mm -hmm. salute. That's right. Um, you're, they're going to be doing that a few times for the next few photos, uh, but. Uh, this thing, it started out uh, metallic, and then it got a black coat, and then I just weathered the fuck out of it. So, uh, this thing very much uh, has has been through the ringer, kind of like the bug right now, where when you get back to your Super Destroyer, you're still covered in bug and torn up. And yeah, It is really cool. I have only one complaint. What's that? Uh, it's totally unrealistic. Because like, it's still it's, standing? It's on the ground, it's landed, and those missile tubes are full. <laughs> Word. That's true. It's and a that ringer is tester. democracy. And oh, that, it's diesel mind. punk as hell to Shane Train. <laughs> now, have a cup really of liver good tea. I, uh, it's, it's all pigment powders. Now, Squick, I've been talking with you about this one. This was something else yes. that I did. Oh, okay, and I you did do that. Yes. I like it. And uh, on to, uh, your observation there that uh, the grips needed to be a little bit more, you know, matte and black, uh, that actually got a hit of dramatically overpriced paint. But it looks good. It and it has also concealed the layer lines within, which should be the most exposed area almost perfectly. Nifty. Well, they're printed separately and then glued on. So ah, you have cheated. Yeah, excellent. Hell That's yeah. the winning move. Oh, whereas I was thinking this was just you know my standard carry forty five that had been modded. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> no, uh, To the person that's most likely to burn down the house is me. That's me. Orange tip, yeah, everybody. Is... Orange tip. Not a legal requirement, but strongly advised. Yes, very. Uh, okay, uh, and like I said, we're, we're going to be doing the Helldiver Salute a few times. Um, so we got this one, too. Ooh, democracy is strong with this one. Yeah, He's got the, uh, the MG42. Uh, in the standard ambush position of, I don't understand ambushes, but I'm in a bush, yeah. so I, I am Until bushing. Well, the... Uh, the it is the ambush, yes. Uh, yes, yes. <laughs> why are the bushes yes, making angry bushes freedom good? noises? Because that's the Aussies. Hmm. Like I said, we're, we're going to be doing a lot of salutes tonight, guys. A lot Apparel, of salutes. why doesn't his gun have an orange tip? <clears throat> well, because he's an inch tall. Freedom. Mm. I have done candles lately without burning anything, Ducky. Listen. That's Whirlin, what color small laser? It depends. Uh, what color is medium laser? I'm painting. Uh, medium is universally pink. green. Small laser is red. <laughs> large laser is blue. Unless it was, what, MechWarrior 2, the original launch, when that color scheme was reversed. Or, or if it's a clan mech, or if it's an ER laser, or if it's a pulse laser. So, realistically, also, pick whatever color spectrum? you want. No, or if up. you bought some sort of pack, I'm sure, and made it different. But they're not going to do DLC lasers in, like, the clans. They are now. Yes, they are. 
I challenge you. Okay, to guys, write let's be RGB fair. They're armament. not paradox. <laughs> they yes. would be though. <laughs> like that's here at Clan Diamond Shark, we believe the customer is always right if they can pay for it. We've partnered with Comstar for the exclusive use of RGB variable pulsed lasers. Now you can kill with style and honor. Purchase yours today. Yeah, I Sounds know a couple right. mech warriors who would bid on that in a heartbeat. <laughs> I'm helping. Are you? Especially oh God, lasers is a service. Out of the pulse laser, a different color. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and to a snappy techno beat. Vectron <laughs> says, oh, great, thanks. Next up in the lore, lasers and service. <laughs> well, I mean, you guys have heard the uh, Thormian, right? The uh, the Pulse Tesla coil speaker? So why not just have a, a PPC that sings your theme song with every shot? You mean the Theremin? No, the Thormian. Oh. Uh, it's a pun based on that, but it is a uh, pulsed solid state um, Tesla coil. So you are playing musical lightning. Okay. I'm sorry, putting... your description has expired. Weapon no longer works. I am putting this one up here just because uh, I freehanded the flag on that. Flag. So... Oh. Damn! Yeah. Really? That Ooh. is sweet work for freehand. Hey. Yeah. It's, it's it was yeah. kind of a bitch to do on the wavy ass flag too. So yeah, shocking. Yeah, hey Biz Monkey, straight line that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Question mark. <clears throat> okay, you've lost your connection to the HPG network, and your lasers have been shut down. Please reconnect to resume service. And then oh, to shit. finish things out, um, a no, couple it's May first, thirty fifty two. I have no HPG connection, sorry. <laughs> then your lost tech lasers will remain lost. <laughs> and to finish that out, I uh, made a couple of mechs from the Alpha Strike box because I'm beginning to worry that the uh, latest Mercenary Kickstarter is supposed to actually ship in June, assuming that their fulfillment uh, contract isn't wholly fucked, which it might be. Um, but I've got to work through the pile of shame a bit, because there's there's lots of shame. I'm not well, ashamed of my pile. It, the trick is you can just put it all into a box and make it somebody else's problem. Or just go to that box, and but then if you run out of stuff, after. you paint. Uh, how about my closet of shame? I mean, oh, I have not. so many, so many, many sitting around here that I haven't gotten around to painting, and I just keep printing more. And it's a problem, everybody, it's a problem. I've got eight Tupperware containers just from the um, Plan as, uh Invasion Kickstarter. Is that all? That oh. I haven't even primed yet. I've also I, got, I got a box. I printed yeah, a box. Yeah, I got box. Tupperware containers well, no, from I'm the talking store. I'm talking the double size shoe box size boxes. That's a box. This is a box. I, I printed a box. Very nice. And I printed a box. That's a lovely box. Nightmare. I, I, I may want like an box. STL of that box, dude. Uh, I have well, received... You told me not to back that Kickstarter cookie. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. This is this is from the Mighty Box Kickstarter. Uh, I actually have the box, and I actually made a small box as a tray, so I've got you know some of my unpainted minis hanging out in the small box. I have regurts. I'm sorry, Wookie. Yeah, I actually showed you that Kickstarter. Oh, and anyway. Squick, you asked me about that. you asked me a question about this one a while back. Is it uh, Gridfinity uh, compatible? There you go. I mean, everything Gridfinity compatible is yes if used good. Squick now today. Good sentence, me. There you go. Strong we job. We're good. M you tried, real. Squick. You tried. It holds many Gridfinity. And Mighty there, there are box bigger boxes. That's a callback. That's the medium-sized box. I haven't printed the big box yet. I don't have enough filament at the moment to make it. Enhance big bigness. Well, I I need more filament. It'll be here in a couple of Understandable. Months. Okay, so... Uh, let's see. See, I, I've made a mistake. I've been painting this whole time during a painting stream. No, I mean... Uh, you can't you've that, seen but... this show before, right? Yeah, yeah, and I, I I knew I knew what I was doing. I knew I was making a mistake, but I've Ducks, already... you're being too productive. I'm sending you a thing. <laughs> Fair enough. He's Look, sending you to the Twilight Zone. 
that was check. beautiful, boys. That was absolutely hilarious. You know, my favorite thing about it was <laughs> Squick recorded the robot voice, but I only gave him the line for the robot voice, so he didn't know what the hell he was uh, signing up for. Bold of you to assume I know things anyway. Well, I mean, you've seen the video now. True. That was that was uh, minutes ago, so he has already forgotten. It's that. yeah. He he stored that in RAM as opposed to actual uh, drive space. Well, I mean, I just rammed it in there. Wait. No, it's fine. Yeah. Clip it. Okay. Clip it. It's quick. It's quick. It's quick. Look at camera. All right. Oh God. One moment. What? What have you done? Very normal thing. Closer to camera. Okay. Your okay, your focus is fucking. But I, I see don't know how to is. make it. You got that I, old I know how to focus. Fix it. It's showing us your arm. Put I it mean, on your I can, arm. I can see that he is. I can see what he is holding. I don't know how to make it focus. Yeah, put it on your arm. Like, take your arm and take, put it on take your arm. Take your other arm. There. Okay, yes. Now, uh, take I'm your hand off of it. That gives it enough additional hand. lines. Basically, your camera is stupid. And it's trying to go, hey, which object is, in here is, is the most complex? And right now... You you got them fuzzy arms, so it's going like, oh yes, that must be what the human wishes me to focus on. So we're tricking it using okay, crafty you know stealth, so I can see the cool thing, which is genuinely really cool. Do you want to tell chat what it is? I'm just gonna like take a photograph. Look yes, a photograph. Force them to experience. <laughs> their eyes. Wait, do we have a song now? No. Oh, okay. Yeah, we have a song. I played at the beginning of every show. That's more of a warning, really. Well, I mean, there are instructions in it about uh, opening your mouth and just rubbing it all over your tongue. Uh, see, That's also a warning. But yes, uh, Carr has sent a song. Oh God, what? What did? What did I do? Lovely wife, what did I do? I have picture and, and holler. I, I'm sorry. Hmm. I'm sorry, Chad. I I actually started painting during the stream, and I thought I'd forgot. I mean, it's unconventional, but I suppose I'll allow it. Ooh! Did she just send it to you? I didn't see it. Only <clears> some of us have chat. received this that you might be appropriately surprised. Oh no! It's quick. I think. Uh... <laughs> Cookie, does that look like some of my battle masters? Time to make yeah. Me laugh. What's that? The uh... um, y'all. Uh, this is a this is a weekly stream, or as close to weekly as we can make it. This stream, this this stream, however, is the the uh, WBPL is a community stream. So every mm. time it's on, it's going to be somebody different. I That's mean, just how we roll. This show oh. has been in this time <clears throat> slot for nearly two years. Uh, so that one's consi This one's consistent. Uh, there are a few yeah. consistent shows, uh, and then there are some that, you know, fill the dead air and some that come and go. That's how it goes. So, uh, Squick. Some of our shows just are dead air, like uh, Tuesday morning. Squick, she sent it to both of us. Which one of us wants to read it? Or do you want to read the first paragraph? I'll read the second paragraph. You read the third paragraph. What is my uh, wife okay, doing? Let's up. Uh... Lovely wife, what have you done? I'll take uh, two and four. Okay. <clears throat> Once in the Waffle House upon Van Zant, sat with Bubba J and with Parallax, Cookie and Wookie, and all of the band, Hauser Car and Squick, Ducks and Warlax. The vacation on Canopus was not what it seemed, as the Mechs did not like them, so with great stupid, the clanners they fought till they ran the Inner Sphere Rim. I don't understand what's going on, but I'm here for it! The Mechaplex closed for a day or two. They repainted the entire urban mech. Its hat in its hull, and all they could do was was to refit with old clanner tech. And the batter strung across the Irby's hat. Welcome to Canopus. Get your dick out of that. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> ah. I'm taking the soul damage. Car, thank you very much. Yeah. We're here to traumatize your husband. Oh. I'm sleeping on the couch yes. tonight, and it's my own decision. Yes. Yes. Well done. Well done. 
Carr, thank you for helping us to traumatize your husband. We're just happy to be part of this. We we appreciate it. Uh, I'm out of tea. Legally tea. Oh, yes, I have more. <sighs> no, I finished I yeah, finished my tea. I'm drinking bourbon now. I don't know what you guys are talking so, about. I I, I painted mm. I painted my herby tanks. So no, I went yeah, can I trade whatever this is for duck's paint already. water? What was that, Orlin? I went through my whole 64 ounce mug already this stream. I think you're going to have to pee in a few minutes. I don't know. I don't know how to paint a building. I have this. Yeah, somebody have earlier several asked buildings. If I was going through Malort, no, this is not Malort. Malort is somehow a classy beverage compared to this. No, I choose to. No, having had that. both, I... having had both, Malort is the death trap that is honest about its nature. Okay, you see that uh, doesn't make it classy, because like a tiger than... no. isn't lying to you when it says it's going to eat your face, but that doesn't mean that it's wearing a tuxedo. Parallax. Hi. Should I dry brush the tank part? Or let it look like it just rolled off of the Mechaplex lot? Uh, I was under the impression that if it rolled off of Bubba J's Mechaplex lot, then it, it needed to, that, then it, it looked like it had uh, well, every frankly, mech, it needed the, the dry brush. <laughs> every mech on the Mechaplex lot has been freshly painted, sir. I know, because I make Parallax paint and body paint all of them. Whether he likes it or not. Okay, well, I you, shall fetch the bucket. You did, in fetch. fact, pay for the lake house. By the way, when are we going to get the next Bubba J? Um, that is a good question. Bubba J, J's uh, jumping SRM carrier is done, but I don't have any art for it. Didn't we? Uh, didn't we brainstorm another one lately? What, what was it? I'm honestly mm. forgetting. I know we had talked about. Oh, Bubba yeah. J's uh, uh, Urban Mech Blams. That was it. Well, and there's also the uh, May 1st project. There is also that. And there's also the one I gave him that he forgot about, I think. No, um, I have to take a video of potatoes for that. Potatoes okay. win, uh, Ducks. Yeah, oh, exactly. Uh, potatoes win. After okay, yeah, out of the microwave. I have two Beeple's Talks, Beeple Talks ready. Um, yours and Exemplus. And uh, I started on Exemplus at first, and I really want video and images of pit vipers, but I don't have any of them. So, well, you send them to Exemplus. Um, huh? Hmm? No, the, the mechs of pit vipers. I don't, I need, I'm doing a Beeple Talks. It's like the Hot Pocket video, but one with uh, pit vipers for, with Exemplus, and one about potatoes with Cookie. Pit viper potatoes. I got you. A potato wearing pit vipers. Yeah. I can use it in both videos. Potato vipers, if you would. Hmm. I don't Pretzel Bomber gets one of the it. the clams that didn't make it uh, to final casting, right? <laughs> Pretzel, Pretzel Bomber. pit viper. <laughs> that actually sounds about right. I'm, I checked uh, out for a minute. I came back to that. What? Uh, don't no. worry about it. Nope. It's fine. Pretzel Not Bomber has it. got this. Pretzel Bomber uh, says every mech like... at Bubba J's Megoplex no, is freshly hold, painted hold and polished weekly. Hold up. I, I stopped the... listening again because I can't get this visual of operator Mr. Potato Head out of my head. <laughs> Bean burrito air fresheners are changed out each day. Wait. That's what? Bean burrito air fresheners. I... No, I'm I'm sorry. Squick, what? what was the thing you said before this? I The past isn't real. <laughs> operator Mr. Potato Head? Operator oh, Mr. Yeah. Oh, that's right. So a potato that's been drugged through the 5-Eleven store. Gotcha. Uh, yes, but with pit vipers for high speed, low drag eyewear and prepared to be tactical at the drop Ooh. of a hat. I think we Bean said the same thing. Burrito air fresheners. I already painted my minis. I really feel like we said the same thing, Squid. I'm afraid that hat's already been dropped and run over. Hey, ah, Mad Ducks, what did tactical. I send you tonight? What did you send me tonight? Yeah, yeah. What I, I sent you uh, an STL earlier. What did I send you? Uh, you that one's already one of the two is already printed, uh, and primed. I gotta go see if it's dry, but that's an urban mech with a top hat. I have one on the filament printer printing in gold to see if this one falls apart too. And if it uh does fall apart, I well, the last ones have fallen apart, yeah, they, but they, they, all, they my, all break at the knee, they weren't my urban mech, right? And now I'm printing one with your urban mech, and I am printing, uh, attempting to print. Two Urban Mech Spring Top Hats for trophies for the um, Mega Mech 
tournament that starts Saturday. Now, while we're talking about such things, Wookie, what did you want to say about uh, the mech tournament? Segway. All right. This is important. It's important, buddy. Saturday, noon Eastern time. We are it's kicking off Central. the BPL and Ox Mega Mech competition. And we're starting off with probably what ought to be the final round, unfortunately. That's how these random draws go. Where we have Team Grumpy Viking versus the Hungry Chairbenders. That's right. Tex and Sir Hot of Denmark are going up against myself and IntelliWasp. I mean, to be honest, I, uh, I want to see that. But well, I'll be there where hosting can anyway. they see it? Here right on here, WBPL on 76, Saturday, Saturday, Saturday. Blah, blah, blah. Only at the Bridgestone Arena. Be there. Or be As I square. say, this is probably us starting the entire competition with what should be the finals. But who knows? There's there, there will be a bloodbath. I can't guarantee who's going to win, who's going to lose, because we haven't played the game yet. I mean, it's also BattleTech, and the dice decide the game more often <laughs> yeah. than not. And the dice are trying to kill you. I promise. All the time. So if, you, as they say, um, you know, the dice are trying to kill you. So if you guys don't hear from Magical Ducky after this, don't ask. I um, I mean, point of order. No. Understandable. Point of on. disorder. I mean, do I have to get my speaking crowbar? Yeah. I, I still have that. I never returned it to like the the position of power. I hold the conch. I speak. No, you don't. I'm gonna cede the floor to to Squid. You don't have ah, a conch. Excellent. It's not the dice that kill you. It's physics that kill you. The dice just let you know you've been dead all along. Damn. Yeah. Ominous. Oh, Ducks, I'm sending you a dumb thing because I found it and then I'm sending it to you. So this is a you problem and this is your warning. You have been warned. The warning is now complete. The item is sent. The item is sent. What? The item is sent. Weren't you listening? The item okay. is sent. I am concerned. So why in the, Don't worry why about in the it. world does Twitch keep trying to get me to unfollow this? <laughs> I mean, every time I move my mouse, the unfollow button highlights. Highlights, and it stays highlighted until you like intentionally click near it. It is like, mad. It's just trying to be helpful. It's, it's like predictive you, you don't analytics. really want to be here. Like, be somewhere <laughs> I mean, else. It's, like, blink really fast if you're if not. You if you don't want to be. Sanity, here. Be somewhere else. Please blink to the tune of Sandstorm. Uh, that's a thinking. lot of blinking. Blink, 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 anyway, blink, blink. Anyway, as I say, it's going to be fun. Be there if you can. Uh, you never know what kind of mayhem will ensue. It's kind of and like if this not, show. there's always the VOD and or the YouTube of the VOD later. That so just to give you a little bit more of a... Um, the vision of the future, specter of the future, whatever. Both Tex and I are bringing in mechs that he's done videos of. <laughs> That's right. Blackjacks, everybody. Nothing but blackjacks. Oh, uh, I have oh. a I have a guess. Blackjacks? So no. it's like instead of rifleman, what if carbine man? Yeah, that's the blackjack. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna say which ones, but yeah, it's gonna be well, statistically, it must be urban mechs, because urban mechs have been in more videos than anything. I never said he did the most videos of. Yeah, I understand, but statistically, I mean, there have been more urban mech videos than any other mech. Blackjacks and Howlers is Moe's vote, and that's funny, because what it almost sounds like. Forget yeah, this game. Then... I'm going to start my own mech game. Mad Ducks, that's for you to finish. You have to finish the line. With blackjacks and howlers. Yeah, there you go. Blackjacks oh, and okay. I will cancel my tickets to Robo Prostitute Land. <laughs> Canopus. I'm canceling my tickets to Canopus. But there's a sonnet and everything. 
Get your dick out of it. Yes. Get your dick out of the Sonic. What? I, I hey. don't want a paper what? cut there. Thank you. Do they have paper in Battletech? Yeah. Yes. Like canonically? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Because that implies things about their industrial base. Yeah. Like, is paper a distributed commodity where it is produced individually by planet, or is this part of the hand wavium infrastructure chain that allows planets to exist, where their sole export is tax documents and their imports is everything humans need to live? It's like the house hunter's equivalent of humanity. Like, I build professionally left foot of Urban Mac exclusively, as does my entire continent. Our budget is 6.2 trillion. Canonically, canonically speaking, there are at least two books that bring up the production of paper. So, there, okay, that implies that it's common enough that it has to be either planetary or in system. Which, in turn, if we can assume from that that paper is a common enough good to be encountered by your average soldier, civilian like, or civilian then the logistics chain of paper is fat enough that not only are there an immense number of human inhabitable planets but either terraforming has occurred on several of them or trees are damn near universal now now here's the thing oh here's the thing nobody said that paper means the same thing it could be vellum or um or, or actually leather or yeah. Actually, at least in one of the two references that I'm thinking of, it does specify a tree pulp with rag content. That's overly specific, but fair. It's a battle tech book. What do you expect? <laughs> also, okay, yeah. Why? Because blame... it's being specified by a um, dropship trader captain. As part of the, she doesn't want to carry any more of this because everybody's got some. Then why did they pick it up in the first place? Uh, her ex -fort first mate uh, picked it up as a commodity, thinking that they were going to one world, and they went someplace completely different. And, uh, but it's not even a general purpose money. commodity. Like, okay. paper requires the existence of paper in an area in order to be useful. The only time you're going to make bank on that is if you have an entire planet that had a paper industry but has been recently cut off and hasn't had the opportunity to move to alternatives. They're first mate dumb as hell. Yeah, that's why they're not first mate anymore. Oh, okay, uh, that would do it. Okay, yeah, which so is why he got spaced. Also, uh, insert, random, insert random Stargate reference here. Um, okay, Ego. No, I was gonna say, you know how every planet looks like. Looks, yeah, looks ben like. Uh, yeah, that's true. I, I was just gonna uh, insert Babylon Five quote here. Why does every intelligent race have something that tastes indistinguishable from Swedish meatballs? Gin and tonic. Uh, well known for tasting exactly like Swedish meatballs. No, no, gin and t it's a Hitchhiker's Guide thing. Every uh, civilization in the universe has a drink they call a gin and tonic. They're not all the same drink, but they all have a drink called gin and tonic. So um, this is Parallax's fault, but I may have, during this conversation, got the, MIDI file, got the MIDI file for Darude Sandstorm and replaced every single instrument with bagpipes. Okay, Please later, so we don't get that, uh, that copyright strike, it. but... Oh, I'm gonna throw it in the holler. I'm concerned. Oh, I'm deeply. You worried. should be. Uh, I'm is downright it, confused. Is it time for a game of the or they'ain't? The or they ain't. Is that what we're calling it now? Uh, I mean, I don't know. I'm drinking more of this abominable hell liquid. Uh, Why? I drink all of my legally tea <laughs> because it's in the cup, and I want the cup back. Oh, the gin and tonic. What if we wanted to avoid scurvy and malaria while getting drunk? Fair. Um, then get also, you a screwdriver. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Um, okay, so, oh, my lord, ain't it? No, <laughs> okay, no, so no. Like, my lord, uh, the, the only drink that you can drink that tastes somehow like 
like uh, rubbing alcohol that's been filtered through uh, grapefruit pith and cigarette ashes. All right. So here we go. The way this works is I will start a prediction. It will run for two minutes. The three choices are as follows. Um, as follows. It'd be us, it'd be ain't, and Grigalak Charge Goob, apparently, because that's what they used last time, and I'm not changing. Grigalak Charge Goob. Um, <laughs> um, the way, the, so you may choose one of those. Us is one of the seven of us that normally occupy this slot. And, um, and some associated peoples. And some associated peoples. Um, are we counting? Who, who else are we keeping? Uh, so there's the normal crew here, and then there's Monday night. So there's uh, right, Monday no, night crew because there's that. so much overlap. Yeah. Um, um, and Monday night crew, which is uh, fish, uh, bouncy, uh, bulk, uh, quick. I think that's everybody, right? Anyway, so there's Please. roughly with overlaps at least ten people, ten or eleven people. Um. No, 10 people that, uh, no, 11 people that this can be, this can be us, uh, us. Ain't is everybody else, which includes Aiden, unless he's on, Nephi, Tex, uh, Rob. Literally everyone else. Yeah. Right. Which there are right. many. There are many. Look, I can talk about you if I want. You're a part of us, random fish. Be quiet. All right. Here we go. Ready? Set? Go. Mm. Us arranged. Get it done. Us arranged. Us Time to play a game of us arranged. Plus, for Tuesday, the clanners are the only one that kept the lost tech. Sometimes the audience gets a quote right, but I'm just saying there's a mass quote of Aiden quotes. There's a mass quote of Nephi quotes. Rob's got quite a few. I'm just saying there's some chunks, number wise, that maybe ain't, but most of them are. A lot of them are us's because quick and various of us. I believe I, it's... that on us, I am the f I have the fewest quotes. I make a game of dodging Grimos so he can't quote me because I say crazy things in Squick's shadow. I'm just yeah. loud and belligerent, that. like a goose that has entered the arena of pugilism with nothing but boxing gloves on its feet and a sniper in the audience. Yeah, but Grimos is not the only person quoting here, Ducks. I have a You have gotten me several times because Grimos yep. was distracted and paid by Squick. Yep. You've, you've, you've made my game more as, challenging. As we were talking about booze, I keep coming across videos from this... Uh, I'm going to go with functional alcoholic, although functional might not be the appropriate term, um, on Instagram Reels, where it's this woman from uh, the Food Network. I believe her name is Sandra Lee. Uh, lovely wife confirmed that for me, where she does a thing where she she says, I'm making a mixed drink. And the most recent one was something like uh, she, she was making something that was colored like flowers. and It was dandelions or something like it was something yellowish. I can't remember. But she made this drink and it was like eight cups of high proof liquor. I don't remember what it was. Jeez Louise. And then it was, but like it was mixed. A cup of some flavored liqueur that had some color to it. And Legally a mixed drink. I think there might have been some sugar in it. And she poured all of this into a pitcher. And mm -hmm. no shit, her next move was pour it into two glasses of ice and leave about a half inch at the top. And then fill that half inch with club soda and called it a mixed drink. I actually think <laughs> she may have been one of my customers because we've uh, we've had customers in the past that was like, you're drinking with me. And I'm like, OK. And uh, yeah, like, let me see if I can find this, because this was this was amazing. Um, and if I, I don't know, know I, amazing is I, I, I will not share my notes right now, but I will say this, even though I did not drink much at all in college i was my frat's bartender and okay so i created some very interesting cursed things to intentionally drop my br frat brothers onto the floor so they would stop being idiots okay i found it i'm gonna play this you're only gonna get the audio from it but 
This is amazing. Come on, do the thing. Do the thing. Do the thing. What is it? Here you go. Uh, the thing. Damn it, do the thing. He wants it to do the thing, I, guys. I need it to do the thing. There we go. I don't think it's going to do the thing. Do the thing. Do the thing. Do the thing. This is a great thing. cocktail. It's Still called the yellow thing. The daffodil driver. The daffodil. It's got daffodil some driver. unique things in it, but it tastes oh, sure it does. delicious. Kind of the thing? first something thing I'm going to put in here is made up. It's peach not vodka. an actual drink. One part of that. Do not I'm peach it over vodka. Ice. This is a nice icy drink. And then you need a half a part so long of apricot brandy. Uh, of course. So long and all the booze. Okay. And a half a part of orange liqueur goes in here. Oh my god. Okay, stream board count one. <laughs> what? What the fuck? And What's a half the part of huh? If you're playing nectar. it, we're not hearing it. You're not hearing it? No. That's Are it? You, <laughs> that's <laughs> like, <laughs> do you have the sound on on stream? <laughs> that's right. Uh -huh. <laughs> my that's just <laughs> too <laughs> 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 And Sandy. And Sandy, you're going to send someone to the hospital. Okay, so <laughs> so that was one part of, I don't even remember what the first fucking thing was in there, but it was quote unquote one part of vodka, I think. One part in this case was eight cups. And then it was a half a part of brandy. So that's four cups of brandy. And it was a half a part of orange liqueur. And then she poured this into two cups again yeah uh, somebody's liver is going to hell okay. again i think I, this I, may I be one of my you, customers i will give you one of my mixed drinks that i created that sounds horrible but is so smooth you will not realize till close to the end that you're drinking alcohol this sounds like one of my sister in law drinks go ahead okay now mind you this is what I call a milkshake on the rocks. It starts with a 64 ounce, uh, well, all subs tumbler. Put several scoops of vanilla ice cream in it. Then one or two shots each of vodka, Kahlua, some kind of snops. And tequila. Blend. Yeah. Top with ice. Crushed ice. Hmm. Yeah, with that much uh sugar in there, that's uh that's gonna mask a lot of booze flavor. That's uh whew. Okay, so here's the thing though. We're going over uh mixed drink recipes, right? Do it. Well should okay. we do the SR8 first? Oh we should. <laughs> God, this, oh dear God, Wookie. All right, here we go. <laughs> um, so, Come on, baby, Daddy needs a new pair of goobs. Ooh, woo? Question mark. All right, here we go. Do not ooh woo the fictional meta currency. <laughs> Ready, set, go. Okay. Okay. Uh. Are we in non Euclidean oh. Ranger Station? Ain't. It be ain't. Who the hell is oh, Chris? Man, I lost. It be ain't. Who the hell is Chris? Chris Picula. Oh. Chris W. Picula. Okay. He's been streaming with um with Newt lately. Okay. Picula, yeah. I would have known by that. I didn't know Chris. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Boo. And Newt just calls him Chris because they're buds. Boo. Boo, I just lost 15,000 goob on that. I just lost 25,000 goop on that. So, y'all... Hey, I forgot to vote, so I'm basically rich. Okay, so if you have not, and you are just recently here, please remember the goop challenge. Dump your goop into that goop hole. Because you want to see the shiny. Put your goop in the goop hole for the shinies. So I'm going to de-abstract this just a little bit, because this is kind of out there even for us. Goob <laughs> Drawing it back in with the immediacy of a mouth that will not stop talking, no matter how many times people try and stomp in, because I will fight all of you from a top of this mountain. I cannot be stopped. I will Death not be stopped. In the the goose has returned, hole. and with it the Armageddon of 39 moons from above. 
But the April Art Goob Drive is active with 27 days left. Throw your goob in there. It probably does something. I didn't read the form. But, uh, you know, if number go up, the number good. But if number full, good things happen. And I think there's art because it says art in the title, and I want to see what it is. So I'm going to use your goob, ladies and gentlemen, because you're hearing this in my voice, to pump that number all the way up to the sky. Once it hits the sky, of course, well, space isn't real, so it's just going to rotate slightly to the left as we go around this giant inverse ball of air and other miscellaneous Space is just the place contains. we've already seeded to the birds. Yes, and I will not fight the birds. They are mighty, and they have escaped Earth's grasp. Well, they're also not real. They're all drones. They have a variety of unnatural powers. They have consumed their body weight in disposable cracker-like goods, and they still continue to hop around as though everything is fine as civilization crumbles. Yes, because they're drones. Oh, Fish okay. wants to do a health check on us. He says water break, posture check, and stretch. Okay, water break, posture check, stretch. Oh, yeah, drink liquid. Stretching and a pet. So if you have a, a critter nearby, pet it. Lovely wife, oh, yeah, pet was... the burgy. Pet that so, dumbass cat for me, please. I'm going back to mixed drinks for a moment. Mixed drinks for a moment. Yeah, it's quick. You have 90 seconds. <clears throat> How make camera work? Uh, we'll work on that in a minute, Ducks. Uh, the uh, the recipe is as follows. Um, you start with bourbon. Bourbon. And recipe. I like... Uh, my recipe is similar. It's a little different. Uh, I start with uh, Kentucky straight bourbon. I'm a little more specific on that. And then I add ice. Mm. That's it. So you water it down. Uh, why do you drink it that slowly? He's got Why'd you, you there. drink it cold? I, I like it cold. Why do you no, it tastes like chemical flavored robo ass. I disagree. All right. Ducks. Yes. Do you see the pictures I posted in the holler? I do. Would you agree that that buck row needs top hats? I do agree. I feel like that's a oh, weighted man. question because you ask ducks if something needs a top hat. And the answer Damn. to that is always going to be, yeah. You say well, this. going to be honest, that particular style of that mini demands something like that there because it's just so void. It just flapped. I have requested additional hats many times. Okay, tell me again what kind of hats you need, and I'll see what I can do. Uh, bowler hats. Bowler hats. Tricorns especially, because mm -hmm. I definitely want tricorns. You just want that because it's three corns. Uh, well, it's yeah. three corn Friday. That is a bonus, I will admit. <laughs> I will admit that that is a bonus. Why did we just I break squid? What just broke squid? Ramblin's at, in an, at the TV at it again. Did you just send her a media... Or did you, was there a media involved? Uh, did I send my wife a media? Or th I think the gremlins are on the TV again, dear. I'm sorry. Our television in the living room randomly turns back on. Uh, turn off ah. HDMI control. Uh, it's not on. It's, it's in your CEC setting. I know. Uh, is there an Xbox or smart device that updates uh, attached to it? Uh, yes. That's doing it when it updates. It uh, does it shockingly frequently. Yeah. Like um, several also, times a last day. Time, when was the last time you changed battery, batteries in the remote? Uh, pretty recently, actually. When was the last time you unplugged your television for the crime of being a smart device in a position where a smart device has no business operating in order to sell your personal data to others as part of a large data set aggregate in order to feed the future? It's Amazon. They already have all of it. Got you there. That is very similar to a defense, although it reads rather like, well, why would I need some sort of medical device when all my organs have already been removed? <laughs> yeah, why would you why need that? Why is there a helicopter at the side at this time of night? The sky is closed. Go home. Well, because of reasons. Sorry, the Taco Bell-powered thunder machine. 
far could it be a life guy. could it be a life flight now I, I i want to throw this out there real quick my six-year-old son has recently uh and this is entirely my fault had his first few experiences with taco bell and now he won't stop asking me for it that is your fault yes now it's it's kind of funny but he he, he constantly taco. wants tacos and at one point, I didn't want to go to real, you know, Tex-Mex. And I just got him tacos from Taco Bell instead. And um, and that's a decision you made. Uh, yeah, and now he adores it. I'm going to stop you right there. Because um, you just you just said a... Um, a heresy? Uh, uh, what's the word? When things do are... Uh, the two words don't don't go together uh taco and taco bell an oxymoron yes that one real tex-mex that's that was your oxymoron okay but real tex-mex is a thing i didn't call it mexican food thank you there is that i mean but what if you have taco bell from mexico it's very different taco bell in mexico is considered american food yeah, but it's in Mexico. Yes, but they consider it, it, it American food. Different I don't care what they consider it. It's in Mexico. Yeah. Therefore, it's Mexican food. Give me a Mexican import burrito from Taco Bell. Uh, I haven't down here, and I will introduce you to it. Oh, the helicopter left for some reason. Uh, it's because they they heard you talk about Mexican import Taco Bell. They've got the information they need. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, that tracks. As I say, I, any of you guys come down here and I'll introduce you to actual food. Okay, yeah. okay. I have been in New Mexico for a while. And I say that, and I apologize for, for saying it that way. But um, I have been there for a while. And um, I have experienced enough hatch green chili to last me the rest of my life. Oh, no, I wasn't saying it was going to be hatch green chili. I have experienced uh, enough green chili on everything for the rest no, of my life. <laughs> no, you have to understand, in our little town, there are ten different territorial uh, areas of Mexico that now have enclaves. Mm -hmm. This is not New Mexico Mexican food. This is Pacific Coast Mexican food. This is different regions of mexico actual food up here now yeah hi legs hi spare spare glance spare glance pair of glance uh, uh i will fight you on that it worked amazing okay. i will fight this you is the resin print okay. Not the big yeah the big one's going to take a while it'll be ready Guns. maybe tomorrow what yeah. are we fighting yes. about cookie I don't know, but I'm in. Uh, Digiman. Oh, okay. D Digiman says Tex-Mex is just Mexican food with different plants on it. Yeah, no, it's not. The meat is different. The 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 tortillas Season? are different. The yeah. I don't I don't know what I said to make Digiman laugh that hard, but okay. I'm sorry, Mo. I made Mo laugh at something. So when it comes to burritos, I will say that I learned that if you uh, order from Domino's and you put in the order section, wrap up my pizza like a burrito, you will get a very confused phone call about 10 minutes later. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, that checks out. Yeah, yeah I believe that, you that, will. That math works. That's that math. Um, yes. Speaking of burritos, today is uh, National Burrito Day, if we didn't say already. So we we, we did. Burrito, we did. That's a wrap. We did. Okay, I forgot. Did you just say that's a wrap? No. That's the second time no, he said I that. I said that. Squick said that the last time. Okay, God, so, this... well, that's the second time someone has said that's a wrap. When we the chronology of this show is a mess. Listen, it's not canon. Sunday don't worry. there was a stream, and somebody had the nerve to say, "I thought Squick wasn't here," and I'm like, "I don't know what to do with that information." Um, I'm helping. None of this is canon to the show. Uh, the deep floor of this show is um is uh. The deep floor What's his of this name? show. Uh, the you deep floor of this show is um uh Cthulhu in nature. 
we we have I more. was gonna say a mind flare it just you know infected the WBPL, but you know. I'm gonna be honest with you, if a mind flayer tried to make a pass at the WBPL, it's gonna starve. It would, it would uh yeah. yeah You're it, receiving it would... exotic foods. This is a threat. Bring it on. I need you to remember, Ducks, I have your address and access to the internet. I can make interesting things happen. Oh, just download more internet. Oh no, no, I no, no. Download. That's not that's not the threat there, Squick. This the threat is um well, you remember when I sent you the council? I am aware of the council. I can send things to him, too. Okay, yeah, starting. well, I'm still working on my workbench, so, like, no. Think, uh, I think all of us... On his all of us send, well, yeah, anyway. Yeah, we, but we all, I might just send my... Mad Ducks, like, random Uber Eats deliveries at, like, 2 in the morning. Two Nothing reads. around me is open at two in the morning. Yeah, but I bet there's like a Mr. Beast uh, dropship kitchen or something that'll send a you a beast bird. Uh, a ghost kitchen? Yeah. What the fuck is there a is Mr. One. Beast dropship kitchen? Uh, well, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a ghost kitchen. Why are so ghosts there is cooking? not an establishment near me named Mr. Beast, but there is a Mexican restaurant that sells Mr. Beast food on Uber Eats. Yep. What does that mean? Do you have Uber Eats or ASAP or whatever they're called these days? I don't know. Uh, I think I've got one of them. Grubhub, DoorDash. Open one of them, Squick, right now. Oh, my God. While we're here, open one of them. This is a terrible, terrible fucking plan. Okay. I'm, yeah, I'm opening yeah, it, my telephone. It, that would be the end of a friendship if somebody did that to me. What? Send, send me up for Scientology. Yeah. Uh, Mo, be... Mo, why, why, why are you sending me this stuff, Mo? I'm oh, I'm reminded. That, that would just be, um, yes, I know where you live, and I have control of a Reaper. Hey, is Mace okay. Hughes in chat tonight? Mace Hughes, Hughes are you earlier. in chat? Mace, Mace Hughes, are, are you, you still here? I have opened the device. They entice me with 24-7 tacos or the Chicago pizza and pasta, which honestly looks like a complete train wreck. Yeah. Or a place just entitled The Burger. Hey, okay. We got Pharisees in chat. Pharisees, we should, uh, we should send Pharisees something random. They've got a pizza that looks like it shat itself real bad, a pizza that looks like it came out of the freezer, a burger that okay, looks so, unfortunate. Uh, some names to look for. It's just wings. Uh, there will be places listed there that do not exist near you with no physical location. Okay. If you like look, the Mr. There'll Beast be lots Burger. There will be several places at that location. There's an IHOP. IHOP, IHOP exists. IHOP also does ghost kitchens, don't they? Yeah, they do. Most everybody does nowadays. I feel like Waffle House should do deliveries at two in the morning. Uh, no. Yeah. No. Yeah. Don't you take? Don't yeah, you but it should be delivered my by like someone Waffle who knows House experience. It should be somebody who does the uh, marine breaching team knock, <laughs> where it's less a request for entry and more I'm trying to punch through your door. But squeak like, food. I, I am delivering this food. This is not a question. Ducks, yeah, I well, need you to remember okay. something. So, I have been in entirely too many waffle houses that have a big fuck all sign in the window that says we cater. Yeah. Why? Well, waffle house is good. Waffle House is good, but Waffle House catering might be the most terrifying concept I've ever heard. Uh, your party will be either safe, or if your patrons start a fight, uh, they... Oh no, your party will along. be served. Yeah, I think Squick has the appropriate verb there, and it means entirely too many things. Well, uh, my problem is, I've lost the large calluses on my knuckles that I got from door knocking like that. On two hundred houses a day. Oh, you say you need oh, somebody cool. else you to get, do it like, for some you. Brass knuckles. Uh, sorry, portable door knocker. Yeah. Well, I'm saying when I used to be a, you know, collections agent or a Schwanz man. Whirlin's a really big dude. When Whirlin says, "Hey, I'm delivering your food," you're getting your food. You are or, receiving hey, why a delivery. You do not resist. Your, why haven't you paid your thing and stuff and 
So I'm here to pick up your TV. Yeah. This is not a question. Yeah. Knock, knock, give me your teeth. Is how that works. No, I never asked for anybody's teeth, although I did ask well, for you don't ask, you just gauge. accept them. Grumos has painted an entire city. His second he was waving one. in front of me. You're like, ooh, can I have that? I was Free told city. no, and I had to call the police. Darn it. All right, let me see. How you goes. are receiving food. Stop resisting. So I'm guessing that. Yeah, okay, not here. That's all right. Maze isn't in, in tonight. With the white balance, I don't know if you can actually see how good They were, this is but turning. I think they left. No, that was Morgana that was here. Sorry. I'm so confused. Listen. Well, if, if uh, Maze catches the VOD, your envelope is in the mail, Maze. Don't ask questions. I'm um, asking questions. Okay. So, so in the continuing saga of my work here, by the way, uh, I finally got the word that I might actually be starting the thing which I was supposed to be starting about a month ago. Maybe, if they can find the, the uh, staff to help me. Cookie, I don't remember what we're talking about, but I'm certain that this is exciting news, and I commend you. Well, hey. it's something. It's I don't know about exciting, but it's 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 frustrating, but it's interesting. It's It just means a lot of change. Cookie, I'm Here's writing reports Cookie. right now for the United States Department of Education. I understand exactly what you just said on a level deeper than you can ever possibly appreciate. Oh, I, I grok, I grok. Yeah, Cookie's been writing such reports as well. Uh, not like this, she hasn't. <laughs> no, I've just been doing IEPs and, yeah, anyway. Yeah, this is a different thing. <laughs> oh, I get it. I get it. You're doing the reports that my bosses do, I'm sure. Uh, I'm No, I'm doing the reports that people that work at Central Office do. No, okay. the reports for her grade level? No, 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 this is not for the grade level. This is for, like, the entire fucking system. No, no, hear me out. They won't touch them, so even the ones that are supposed to be for the system, if they have that part... They, they make them. They, they make the principal and support staff at that school fill it out for them. Okay. Appreciating that. Um, let me put it like this. Where I am, the people that are supposed to handle that kind of thing don't have the expertise to do it. And, like, understanding where you're coming from on the, uh, this gets filtered down to the principals and such, uh, this is higher ed and... DOE's much, much less kind about it on our level. Hey, Squick. Hello. Look at camera. God, what doing? Crushed thing. Okay, that visor that, in the center uh, needs to be bright red. Interesting. Although your camera um, is washed work out. on that because it made it look like a butter sculpture. Hey, first she's lost 15 know pounds. It? Fantastic. Hey, good job. Hey, congrats. Bro. I really hope that it wasn't on a gambling thing. Yeah, the white balance is messed up. I think, yes. I, think, I think he actually did mean pounds as in weight measure and not pounds. Oh, I know. In... I'm just, just, you know, covering my bases here. Like, I hope they didn't make a bad wager. Just quick, observe the butter. I'm trying. Because yes. I have read The Merchant of Venice. I know what? I know how camera to do. Yes, ducks. We must yell your camera. You require the Logitune application. I have that. I need to talk to um, somebody about the banana application at some point. The banana application. Well, there's always money in the banana shack, so that's where you start. <coughs> Regular shack has a lot of money. Well, Radio Shack doesn't. Not anymore. <laughs> See what I did there. It was, a, it was a reference to, to a shop that used to exist and no longer does. Much like know, Fry's Electronics. Dad, I liked Radio Shack. I liked what Radio Shack was in the 80s. That's Radio Shack I mean. was certainly <clears throat> one of the stores of all time. They sold products. It's quick. Take a look now. 
Mm. I poked the things. He yes. poked them. Guys, guys, he poked I them. I did poke them. Uh, Pharisees doesn't gamble on things, aside from the occasional questionable uh, food stuff. That's uh, that's my shtick. So that's that when I mean it's also Rob's shtick. I mean Rob once ate the uh, the forbidden potato chip. I mean, yeah, and then it washed it down with Malort, if I recall. Correctly. Yes, and then was uh, as I remember how the story goes, naked in Striker's bathroom. <laughs> this is and all the same of, night. It was puking his, puking his guts up. Yeah. Yeah. Are we talking the one chip challenge? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's uh, oh oh not you know, recommended. Despite somebody, despite being a person that's eaten three ghost peppers, you would think I would approve of the one chip challenge, but I don't. Why not? I know it's pain flavored. I don't approve of the idea of the one chip challenge for the simple reason that they're taking a chemical, straight capsaicin, and putting it on a chip. You're not getting food. You're getting a chemical. Yeah. I do not. I've, like, I've eaten three ghost peppers, okay? I get it. It's hot. Um, but a chip, you're just taking straight capsaicin. You're sending chemicals on a chip to people and going, here, eat this on the internet so we can sell more chips. No. Pretty much. Yeah, this is kind of uh, like, I mean, it's different. In the yeah. the the whole uh, chemical and who's a what's a thing, but it's it's somewhere along the same lines as the one hour milk challenge that was a thing when I was in college. A hundred thousand one hour milk. Okay, I've had so, one hour photo. So yeah. squick the one hour milk challenge was <laughs> for you to drink a gallon of milk in an hour. Yeah. Okay. An hour, not so, throw it up. Yeah, and then not throw it up. And as it turns out, uh, it's it's not possible. It's borderline uh, no, impossible. No, it's very easy because of the rules you've just laid out for this game. Oh. I'm going to wait for, uh, yeah, 59 minutes in. And I'm going to power slam that thing you of milk. Can't. And I'm going to keep it down for one minute. You can't. You have to go one, you have to drink it and wait one hour without throwing up. Yeah. That was not specified. It was consume this quantity of milk within a one hour window without vomiting. As long as I can put off vomiting until the close of that window, I have won. No, you just, uh, no. no, no, sorry. No, but that's it, not how it goes. As it turns out, for those of you in the audience that don't know, um, no, hold, hold the fuck up. You can't just nope your way out of that. If you want me to not use the loophole, you must alter the rules to remove the loophole. I just, just no, 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 no. The, the rules were already there. I just didn't explain them. Yeah, we're not going to spend thirty minutes explaining. Hey, you can't cheat your way through this. I and, disagree. And we're doing it squick, right now. Squick. Ooh. Squick. Butterbot. You cannot. You, I override your disagree. I have a gold urban mech. I do not believe that was covered in the standards and practices yeah. guide. I don't no. have to yeah, care. They, I have a gold urban mech with a top head. I want to you quickly describe. I want to quickly describe to chat if they don't know why this is uh, why this is fucking impossible. Um. So yeah, it it starts when you start drinking it. Yeah. Okay. That's that's one thing that one person is saying. It doesn't matter here. Okay. So cool. so no, here's no, the thing fine. about the I'll milk challenge. When it's beer or when it's water, it doesn't matter. Your body's just going to push it through because it's fluid and it doesn't care. Because it's mostly milk. water. Milk has enough fats and proteins to it that your body can't just immediately push it through to the kidneys. It sits in your stomach and then in your intestines and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera, waiting for the proteins and the fats to be broken down. So if you push a gallon of that into your gut over the course of an hour, you cannot keep that down. Because don't forget the stomach acid makes it foamy. Foamy stomach okay. acid, everybody. It's very so, not good. Cool. Just blast yourself with like a, a dozen turbo roll aids. Uh no, no, that's the problem. Is that you're already adding base to acid. We have yeah. 20 minutes left. Are we supposed to be doing anything else? I painted a gold urban mech and two Irby tanks. So like, you know. Well, I am working on adding some mechs to my mercenary company. Um, so I Langdon's made, Fusiliers tonight are getting a Locust, a Caesar, and a Warhammer. I also made a uh, Darude Sandstorm with nothing but bagpipes because no one could stop me. And now I'm wondering, am I supposed to be loading up a note card? I oh, think we could do to that. Load it for like triple speed. Okay. Uh, so, Cookie, tonight you get to pick. What fact that chat gives us, uh, Mad Ducks has to write down on his note card. Guys, right. here's the play. 
Mad Ducks has a list of things that he knows about Warhammer 40k, specifically 40k, and these are all true facts, and none of them have context. We have been slowly drip-feeding Mad Duck's facts about 40k to add to his note card. In a moment, he will read you what is already on it. We will be adding something to it. The more ridiculous the fact is, the better. We require no context. Beyond that, we request no context. So give us the most ridiculous thing possible. Now, this is in contrast to when it's Halzakar and Pokemon facts where I don't want the most ridiculous thing, I want the most disturbing thing. Bear in mind, context is allowed. If, if context bear. is funny, throw it in. Yes. No, tell us more of the mind bear. The mind bear? So psychic oh, digs. Bear in mind. Psychic digs. digs is the mind bear. Bear in mind. Bear in mind. Okay. Bear in mind? Close bear up. in mind, he said. Squick, Squick has a bear terrible. in his mind. Well, I'm thinking about it now. I mean... Okay. Okay, so... All right, go, Duck. All right. Chat, I will read all of the things, the many and various things that are very much things that I have been told mostly on this exact stream. So... About what? <clears throat> Warham facts that I know about Warhammer 40K, as read by a lunatic. Fact number one. <clears throat> God, my voice is still shot from recording all day. <clears throat> and that's a <clears throat> fact. The, war <clears throat> the, the warp, warp is some sort of turbo hell. Two. Psychers get their powers by channeling the warp somehow. And in parentheses, I have you can't tell me that it's not a blood magic ripoff, because it totally is. Fact number three. Papa Nurgle is some sort of god of plague and may have a fried chicken restaurant. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I think that was Squick's fault. I played uh that Warhammer game with Squick once for like five minutes. I, oh, so uh, now I'm, I'm an like, expert. Hi, I'm Charles Shoulder Pads. Welcome to Fuck Planet, where no, no, everything bad. That was not changed. Charles Shoulder Pads. That was Mr. James Workshop. Moving along, fact it, number four: the Emperor eats psychers for some reason. Yes, not kink shaming, but it is pretty weird. He hungry though. Fact it's a number vor five. Thing. Corpse starch exists and is used as a flour substitute. It's soylent bread. Fact number six. Space marines are some sort of cybernetically and biologically enhanced big dudes that like shooting anyone that isn't loyal to the emperor hard enough. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Number seven. Tau are weebs, and I was told to underline this. That's still accurate. I have no idea what that means. No, that's but fine. It's underlined. Number eight, there is a warp god named Slanish, and by worshipping them, you can never be satisfied. Innuendo was heavily implied for some reason. I don't know the context. All I know is that I was picking up a lot of innuendo and giggling. Ducks, let me Number go nine. ahead and give you a little bit more context on that one. You don't want more context on that one. Hold on, I'm typing. I mean, I guess I could say, have you ever seen Hellraiser? Nope, 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 nope. We're done here. Okay. Look, uh, quote, you don't want more context on that. Trust me. Parallax. Okay. <clears throat> Number nine. The Void Dragon is an angry dragon inside of Mars that makes people want to bone toasters for, ex for Excel sheets. Put there by Emperor Dude Guy. Mm-hmm. Uh, number 10, Krieg is a World War I Germany that feels bad that they weren't loyal to the Emperor hard enough. I have no context on that whatsoever. That's fine. That's fine. Whatever. They're fair 11, there are dudes that are dust but are also sealed into armor that moves and shoots. Correct, Rubric Marines. Got no idea what that means. They're number 12, yeah. dwarves are real and one of the least effed up factions. Warhammer started in the 80s. And one of the early things from Rogue Trader was Space Dwarves, and they were included less and less, were just like eaten by aliens or something. Uh, number 13, there is an Egyptian metal skeleton who goes around the universe collecting historic artifacts and Pokeballs. Quote, Trazen has stolen more artifacts than the British by Psydoc. It's on very this impressive, honestly. 
the Horus heresy is the result of trust, uh, a result of trust and lack of family therapy. Uh, number 15, orcs say, why? And according to Kai Harper, it comes from like deep in the diaphragm and you have to just be extremely enthusiastic about what you're doing at the time. Oh, that explains uh, Waluigi. Uh-huh. Hey, exactly. Not, not wrong. Number 16, when orcs paint anything red, it goes faster. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm, I'm told that that's a fact. That is a fact because orcs believe it. Well, there you go. Number 17, there is an entire army. This army is made of nuns with guns. This army exists because of a spoken loophole. Uh, 17.5, there's an army commander capable of hiding city block-sized tanks behind orange safety fencing, and you cannot see it. Like, at all. Number 18, the emperor has not pooped in centuries, but... He has been stuck on the golden throne, quote Parallax. And number 19, this happened during the week. Uh, the baldest guy with the biggest pauldrons is probably in charge, quote Tex. <laughs> yeah. That came from Tex directly. When, when were you in, in stream with Tex to get that one? Uh, no, he mentioned it. Okay. Uh, okay. okay. So I it was in chat. Gotcha. He, uh, I was in chat. Uh, I'm allowed no more than one thing per day okay. on this list. So that is 19 things. Uh, now, I have covered up chat. I cannot see what y'all are typing. Uh, usually I have chat open and I'm just, you know, painting and I'm like, hey, look, so-and-so said blank. I can't right now. It is covered up. So, chat, I want y'all to throw a fact out. Cookie will pick a fact. Now, it has to be true. It does not have, as you can see, to have context. So, and until chat has scrolled past the most recent fact, I will not even look at it so that I do not accidentally see. He doesn't want to learn more. No, one thing. I respect the rules of the... The law, uh, the, the law of the list. Thing. I've got gold paint all over my laptop keys. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. Oh, we've got some, we've got some coming in already. I'm going to let it sit for a minute just so people can get them typed in. I don't know how to unpaint my laptop. Oops. You know, everything here so far has been true. See, and the beauty of this is I don't have to proofread anything or fact check anything because that's y'all's problem. Well, because too. it's true. Know. Everything's true. Well, that's y'all's job. To no, find everything's it, to true. Determine. Everything's fine. It's y'all's job to determine, not my problem. I don't have to care. Don't worry about it. Cookie's going to pick the fact tonight. We're going to give it. Uh, we're going to give it another two minutes. I'm going to drink stuff because I don't know if anybody's going to hell hydrate. Uh, wrong vibe. Don't do that. No. <laughs> Which is the right pipe? The one that didn't go down. <clears throat> Squick, can you give me a one minute rant on the correct pipe? The correct pipe is often a matter of perspective and is defined primarily through context, although the full context of the pipe is not necessary to understanding. It is simply that without knowing the correct pipe in advance, the only options available to you are fundamentally destructive. We are left with the problem of uh, the two doors with two guards, and one of them always lies. So if you shoot and no door and check their IDs, there's suddenly a federal manhunt because people get pissy when you take on the guards. Even when one of them was kind of a dick and they both wanted you dead, and you just wanted to get through the door because you have places to be. However, the wall, the wall is often unguarded because those are door guards. What are they going to do when you show up with a backhoe and just go, this castle is open? And you're like, what the hell is this guy? And you'd be like, I'm third door guy. Whatever I say becomes true. <coughs> and that's how you get uh, the special tourist entrance where you can set up your own little uh, gate with like a, a money pit and then people will throw money into the gate as they go because it's got a little bucket on it. And then once a month you come by and collect your money bucket because you've put in all the work. The door guards are slowly phased out. And then once they're gone, 
boy, howdy, check it out. You got three doors. That means you're the exclusive provider of transportation into and out of the castle. That means the rates are whatever you say they are. So not only can you have your standard lane for toll access, but you can have your high security lane where you've pre-authorized a number of the local nobles at exorbitant rates to get through there. Plus you're going to have your general commoner express lane where if somebody has, uh, you know, say a load of cabbages being threatened by a bald child wizard and his erstwhile companion, they can happen. charge or they can pay five times the going rate to skip ahead of the line. Of course, that line, that's going to be its own problem. Not only is it a moneymaker, but it's the cheapest way in and out. So people are starting to get a little bit upset with that. So you're going to have to cut down the wait time. And the only way to do that, of course, is to raise rates. So what you're going to need to do is slowly up the rates on that until the peasants stop using the castle at rush hour. But this not is going too to go high because minute. you still yeah. need them driving traffic to the Don't other worry, I've lanes. Got a comment, sorry. Otherwise, the whole thing's going to come crumbling down. The trick is to make sure you've got that backhoe rented again before this castle collapses because you're going to have to be out of there in a hurry when the wall comes down. So once the peasants can no longer pay, well, that's when you open up the wall on the next castle. You know, he has no idea that he's mentioned pizza delivery. Okay, so Squick, I appreciate your chutzpah there, but I asked you a yes or no question. Oh, I wasn't listening. What up? <laughs> the question was, can you do it? <laughs> no, probably not. <laughs> okay. 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 All right. So my, I'm gonna I'm gonna pick Grimos's fact, which is every factory planet has a localized toaster cult to manage their machines and possibly their big, stompy, angry super mech. Okay, every factory planet has a localized toaster cult to manage their what? Machines mm -hmm. and possibly their big, stompy, angry super mechs. I can't confirm this is accurate. Every factory planet has a localized toaster cult to manage their machines and possibly their big, stompy, angry super mech. Mechs. Yes. And you see, the great thing is, like, I could sit here and give context on that, and I'm not nope. going to. Um, I don't want it. It's, no. it's against the, uh, it's against, I mean. It's against the it's, list law. Well, it, context is allowed. Yes, but it was not provided by Grimos, so I'm not giving it to you. Well, my my the, the my fellow hosts are allowed to give me more context. They just choose not to usually. Yeah, why would we do that? That sounds silly. That would be educational, and I'm not paid to be an educational person. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, we Cookie, don't, we don't do that Cookie if you can give him context on this, then he can know it. I no. know fucking all about 40K. So this is great. Go. So other than what we were watch listening to earlier. So the one, the one this. person here who is actually a paid educator doesn't know anything about it. So you don't get to know. And I'm off duty. And she's off duty. That tracks. As it turns out, I work in education. I am not an educator. So I'm not telling you either. Okay. I didn't expect an answer. And lo and behold. I'm not going to get one. That's right. So I'm going to take enough time to get some royal purple onto this third mech. And then I'm going to say that these three are effectively tabletop ready. But I'm not going to be happy with that. But I am going to stop there for tonight. So. I have I have not been watching what you've been paying. That's okay. Just... What have you been doing, Cookie? Playing on my phone. What have you been playing? <laughs> oh, Tetris clone. Ah, Tetris clone. That's right. The really distinct Tetris. Yeah. Phone Mageddon Part oh, 7. Puzzle box classic. Have you tried Sand Tetris? No. Sand Tetris is kind of a bitch. Uh, if you do play it, I recommend you play it in airplane mode so the ads don't load. Oh. Yeah, but I'd probably just let the ads go because... They're kind of long. They're pretty fucking long. I, I need... Um, to be to be rule three okay well they're long ass ads okay but for those of you in chat if you play sand tetris and you turn on airplane mode then you don't have to sit through the ads 
You I'll, can't make me play San Tetris. San Tetris is one of those is. games that will bend your brain in a way you're not anticipating. If it's super spatial, I probably won't play it just because Tetris I know and I can kind of do, but if it gets too bendy, my poor my poor non-spatial minded brain goes ow. Cookie, I'm oh. going to advise you not to play San Tetris. Squick, I'm going to advise you to play San Tetris. Well, I just remembered I haven't played 5D chess yet. Oh, 5D chess is a bitch. I'm not even good at regular chess, but I feel like it might be an interesting challenge, or at least a creative opportunity to express myself through five minutes of uninterrupted swearing and confusion. It is my understanding that most people do not take sufficient advantage of 5D chess. Now, if we're okay. talking chess, I miss battle chess. Yeah, I, I remember battle chess. But... On DOS. Yes. I played it on DOS. But 5D Which chess... is what wizard chest is based on very probably uh, 5d chess just... is a game of chess where you can play uh squick maybe you can uh, correct me on some of this i remember that there is in fact a time function and a multi-dimensional function okay so you ever watch the short series loki i am familiar with it i did not finish it okay cool you ever thought the time stream there was too linear and made too much sense yeah okay cool so imagine you're playing chess but also an alternate what if of chess and also an alternate what if of chess and also an alternate ad infinitum and you can navigate through these probably forward and backward in time into alternate realities and you can have like a position where like as long as there exists a condition in which you can win you've won the possibility becomes the reality as you collapse the function of the mm -hmm. game yeah that breaks my brain oh god it should like 5d chess is one of those games that has rules and they are rules that make you want to say i'm just not going to do that but they are procedural uh this mm, is all from my like understanding fun. based on the write-up I may have to try it. Good luck, um, Wookie. Uh, you have also, to understand that's how my brain works. Also, um, also, uh, I'm I, I'm gonna go with Harry Kim. Time travel makes my head hurt. Yeah, Temporal mechanics makes my brain hurt. Yes. yes. Then step into a world in which it does not. Yeah, that that's also how five D chess works. Okay, well. Uh, you know what? Let's take two mi Oh, oh, Digi says give to Goob. Yeah. Give hey, to guys, goob. I don't know if any of you have at this point not yet contributed Goob to the, uh, All right, to the Goob fine, home. I will click the button. But, uh, hey, hi, Kiersella. You want a new chess variant that is a cat on the bit. internet? Shut the hell up. There's an Look. internet cat. This is very important. What? I'm looking at a cat on the internet. Okay. Kirsala. Kirsala. Welcome. Kirsala says you. if you want a variant of chess that isn't mind bending but is different, you can try hex chess. Uh, okay. Kirsala, you haven't been here in a while. Welcome back. Kirsala no, is one of the amazing. creators that uh, stops by every now and then. And uh, Kirsala has a line of paints that they sell through Rainy River Designs. I recommend that you all look that up. Also, uh, some renamed. minis that are associated through that and STLs. Renamed? Have they been renamed? Oh, are they not Rainy River anymore? I believe not. I believe they rebranded after sad things happened. Awesome. I know they relaunched. Uh, I'll give them the opportunity to correct this or not. Would you like to plug Kursala? Up to you. I strongly advise it. Kursala has been out of the loop for a bit. They've been in many, many meetings. Could these meetings have been emails? Almost assuredly. <clears throat> I've been muted. Parallax, look at camera. I am looking. Examine the cat. Brain bite game. Brain bite right. games. There we go. Hello, cat. Somebody redeem a pet. You're gonna get it immediately redeemed. Well, a fish ran us through the 
the uh, take care of yourself stuff about 10 minutes ago and nobody noticed except me and I forgot to say uh, Okay, something. then we will do all the things. Stretch More pit cat. and posture and water. And pet. And, and pet. pet. And pet. Pet cat. I don't pet know if cat. you want to do the thing again. But... <laughs> Which there you thing? go. There are also three, three, three pets. So pet three more times. That is many, many. Pets. I'm petting way more than three. Times. So uh, for those of you that are catching the vod later, uh, Kirsala has informed us that it is now Brain Bite as opposed to uh, Brain Bite Games as opposed to Rainy River, and that you can find their uh, stuff at Brain Bite. Down that Bite is B Y T E, so it's Brain Bite, uh, no spaces dot games and let's see what they've got uh let's take a look here real quick brainbite dot games you've got digital designs that's stls you've got resin miniatures that you can order physically uh we still have rainy river designs paint collections and then we have basing materials so uh i've got some of these myself i strongly recommend them and uh he also does killer minis so get on board with that like the so, last time I dealt with killer minis was with, uh, you know, there's a whole bunch of Gorgonites kicking around, and then... That's normal. Like Small Soldiers was a weird movie. It was. Uh, now, I also want to throw out there, we had Voxel Forge in here earlier. Voxel <laughs> also uh, is mini design. I had their uh, current work in progress that was a, uh, a Kodiak that uh, I showed off the current progress on that. Uh, I recommend them. They have a Patreon. You can find them through Voxel Forge. Uh, and they also have a store through that, through uh, Patreon, that you can find their stuff on. And it's great. I have put picture of Kit in Auxiliary General, as I do when enough people redeem enough pets. Many pets. And oh. Kit is on camera. Camera uh, Kit. Like busy cat also painting. Camera Kit. Catmara. Cat bra. A bra no. for a cat. No. I guess. Squick puts but... his cats in bras. Do they desire this? Uh, no, I don't know. Do your cats? Really don't. I do not no, have cats. they really don't. Does Frank I... desire this? Frank does not understand the world end of sentence. What Frank does Frank understand? A certain line of zen. Frank does not, it understands mice and sleep usually, right? Yes, he's been going hard on the sleep lately. Does Frank understand Danger Noodle? Probably not, no. Okay, but Frank is Danger Noodle. Uh, okay, this goes with the article I just saw. Um, for all of us who live in sunny, warm areas. Apparently, somebody in Fort Worth today had a Western Diamondback attempt to enter their house by coming out their toilet. Okay, that's going to be enough internet for tonight, everybody. <laughs> Why would you have one of those? Indoor plumbing was a mistake. And it is poor if, after anyway. So. If I had a rattlesnake come out of my toilet, I would agree with you. You would prefer the rattlesnake go into your toilet? If it's outside, maybe. Why would you have an outdoor toilet? Uh, because the rattlesnake came out of my indoor toilet. So you've decided, instead of defending your building against rattlesnake incursion, to counter-invade for the purposes of pooping outdoors. I have to go ahead and enforce super-democracy on the snake population. That is not what dropping a bomb on the snakes means! <laughs> that is definitely what a hell bomb is. <laughs> <laughs> and on that and, note, folks. On that and note, just I'm like getting that. the last little stripe hours. of blue and, onto a visor here, and, and we're going to call it a night because, frankly, we're too dumb to be here. So, catch, cat stream, cat stream, stream cat, cats. Stream. If you want, <laughs> if you want, Saturday, to get Saturday, the Saturday, cat. Saturday. No, the audience doesn't get a vote. Fuck you. Put on cat. Important. Okay, fine. Give me a minute. I have to do no the thing. stop trying to vote. This is like managed democracy and I'm managing it. Give cat. I have to do the whole Discord thing where I pop out a window and then, you know, whatever. Download cat. You're a cat. No, he's he's a he's a cobalt. Okay. Um, full screen. Okay, well that didn't really quite do what I was intending for it to. Okay. Um, we're gonna add a window. 
window. So while you're doing that, window. remember chat. Saturday, Saturday, Saturday. Only at the Bridgestone Cat Arena. Okay, there. Cat. Is everybody happy? Cat. Yes. Text and yes. Text and uh text and uh, Sir Hat. All Father Hat against Wookie and Was. Lovely wife, if you're still watching, cat on screen. Cat. Ducks, your cat is so unphotogenic. They have wrapped around and are the most adorable thing, and I love them. And just like that, cat butt went through camp. Okay, well, that's the end of cat. No. Now, with that said, uh, my brother got to see an English bulldog today and gave it pets, and he was the best boy. Yes, also tell us of the dog. We've seen the cat. Tell us of the dog. Listen, I you don't have, have more information the on the dog. I am not my Provide brother. dog. I... Cat abandoned us to go get food. I am Very not my brother. Life. I did not see the dog today. I'm sorry. Yes, my We're brother My brother ran brother into an English bulldog. Dog. Uh, let's see. Uh, how do thing? Thing. What do thing? Close thing. Get thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pet more dog. Okay. Dog. 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 Serrated? Uh, we'll what? Dog. Open dog in what? browser. Move thing over here. Make. Okay. Not quite so, that for big. those of you on the internet, this is what a dog might look like if you were to see one. It depends on the dog. That's Some why he dogs look might. like this. Okay. He said might. Dog. He said might. There is a non-zero no, chance not... that okay. the image that you may dog. see once Parallax figures out how. Shut up. Provide dog. Dog. Dog? The stream dog. there. Dog. 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 I, a dog breed that has evolved to be pre-booped. <laughs> pre-booped hard, too. Best boy. Smonch. Dog. Now, I am an advocate for the old English uh, breed of bulldogs because they're actually bred for health in temperament and not just, you know, yes, you know, hip dysplasia and brachiocephaly. Zero and... brain cells, and I relate to that. Yeah. Now, I'm going to say real quick that I have had some dramatically smart bulldogs that did some dramatically smart things, and. I... Was... Okay, smart things or things that are incredibly stupid but require smart to have gotten that far? They could open their cage from the inside. That doesn't narrow it down. What was their goal with this? Uh, to get out and then let all the other puppies loose. And they did. Why is the fart machopper back? <laughs> Fuck off, we're closed. What? No, 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 don't say. You... No. How close do you live to the hospital? Um, not very. How okay. close do you live to a major uh, highway or intersection? Uh, farther than the nearest major shooting. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Um, Those were words. All right, everybody. Why it's... is the mouth unsubscribe? No. Oh, that's okay. He won't be there for long. <laughs> that's... But he's there now, and I'm upset by this. Bring back the dog. <laughs> no, no one cowboy. More dog. I actually... Uh... <laughs> Apocalypse Jim. I linked the uh, the music video that we did. Why is and, your dog uh, behind the cowboy? It wasn't able to get it downloaded in time. <laughs> Wait, maybe I can make this a little bit worse. Give me a second. Uh, I hate everything that's happening here. Alex, are you able to download the video and throw that onto stream? Not, if not, this not, is fine. Not quickly. Uh, give me just okay, a second, though. I think I can make this worse. Um... Oh yeah, that's a goal. You can always make it worse, Parallax. That's the joy. We're of good life. at worse. Uh, give me just a second here. I, no, I don't think you can appreciate how much worse this is going to get. There you go. I will. I oh shit. <laughs> oh, play that again, honestly. Because uh, there's worse. a lot of people that's... that didn't get to see that. Technically, that's better. <laughs> Squid, look at those bloodshot <laughs> Furby eyes. Does anyone in chat want to make? to badger parallax to play the twilight zone video just in, for the those of us that didn't see it okay okay so that's what i'll do uh on the way out i will play the twilight zone video one more time and then we will go out okay Once but you have to show me the dog you. again okay well i mean you can still see the dog the he's dog right is there still by there. the furby provide more dog Wait, I blinked and it came back yes excellent can i model apocalypse gym and print it 
Why I have you not <laughs> these words in this direction? Uh, Why do yes. You so, so here's what I'm going to tell never you. Never have been to bring the unimagined from the unthinking into the world to pierce the veil beyond which thought cannot be. From that which has been called forth from nothing but the lightning poured into rocks, where thoughts from above and the commands from the dead reign supreme in a world in which we cannot fully comprehend the resources expended and merely hope that the power generated by billions of tons of sacrifice continuously should be enough to allow it to exist if but only for a moment in the fleeting mind's eye as reflected through the light broadcast at your face <laughs> from the eldritch horror brought into your room. So my answer to the question of can I model this is no, but I bet Voxel can, so bug him about it. Uh, Squick? Yeah? You are low on caffeine. Don't oh. drink anymore. Okay, everybody. Now, my cup not empty, I fix. We're gonna cut over to the Twilight Zone video, and we're gonna head out from there. So <laughs> thanks, everybody, for being here tonight. Um, we have been a pile of stupid. I mean, that's what we do. Uh, yeah, stupid. well, yes. I mean, I'm owning it. So here we go. Imagine, if you will, a world where reality and imagination collide, where the lines between the ordinary and the absurd blur beyond recognition. Welcome, my friends, to the Twilight Zone. In this quaint little corner of the universe, we find Mr. Harold Loomis, an unassuming hobbyist with a penchant for painting miniatures. But tonight, Mr. Loomis is about to embark on a journey unlike any other, as he delves into the world of the bizarre and unexpected. As Mr. Loomis breathes life into his miniature creation, he finds himself drawn into a whirlwind of oddities and eccentricities, Conversations take on a surreal tone as the lines between reality and imagination become increasingly blurred. So what's your story, little guy? But in the Twilight Zone, nothing is quite as it seems. As Mr. Loomis navigates the labyrinth of his own imagination, he discovers that the true masterpiece lies not in the strokes of his brush, but in the unpredictable canvas of life itself. Well, that's certainly, uh, unique. Join us if you dare as we journey with Mr. Harold Loomis into the heart of the unknown. For in the Twilight Zone, even the most ordinary hobby can lead to extraordinary discoveries. Prepare yourself for a tale that will paint the town red. Welcome to the Twilight Zone. <laughs>